Hello, my name is Robert Johnson. I am making this video about these uh, electromagnetic clocks. One of the issues is, how do you even know if you have an old clock sitting around, how do you know if the, one of these electromagnetic clocks will even come to life with one of these uh, little circuit boards or something else you've come up with? Well, I, I think I solved that problem. The easiest way is, <coughs> is just to put a a meter on it. <clears throat> you just hook your, your plain old meter, you put it to your DC volts, lowest scale, because it only puts out about less than a volt, if I remember right. I'll make another video and I'll measure it one of these days. And here it is here. If you see the needle, if you can see the needle going up back and forth, that tells you that the clock that the clock is, is has a chance of working. There it is. It's a better thing of it. I have the circuit un, unhooked now, but I'll just give it another little punch. And you see the meter going up and down. That's all it takes. That 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 tells you that the that the uh, coil and the magnet are good, and they're hooked up. You don't have any broken wires or broken lines. You can also use a digital meter, which is. Uh, Probably more people have that now. This is an old triplet. This is an old meter. I'll just take that there and put this here. See that? There it is. See, you're getting about uh, 125 millivolts. Well, the difference is what you're going to get is just the function of the Meter. Well, now it's over. Now it's going over a scale, which is good. That means this this clock is a very much alive, and it will work, and it will keep working as long as that coil and magnet are moving. Well, that's the first part of the movie. The second part of the video will be to determine how to make it work when you, with what it doesn't work, and that's the next point.